Welcome back. Killer Kai video blog episode 18 part 2. Uh, we do this cooking thing around here. This cooking thing, this is what we do. Black Tino, if you don't mind, come wrench around here. Y'all country ass niggas have never seen lobster tails on a grill. We doing this. This is what we do. Shout the love. Uh, lobster tails on the grill. This is something y'all not accustomed to. But this is what we do. Like I said, to cook on any time, any place. Nig, we about to get into those. Real proper life. Check this out. We here. Blog episode 18, part 2, like I said. And I'm going to get into some subjects with y'all. Let me take a seat real quick. And um, I want to thank everybody that watches my blogs for the past 18 weeks. I really appreciate y'all. I hope y'all appreciate what I do. I really have a good time, you know, giving y'all this information. And I want to give a big shout out to my man Lons. My man Lons hit me like, yo Kyle, I really like your blogs. I want you to go in on site. I want you to expose site to the people about the first black president. No, not Barack Obama, the first black president. The, fir the first black president being a man by the name of John Hanson. John Hanson lived, he was the president in about 1781 to 1782, and he was a black man, he was a Moor, Moor, Moors are people that are usually found in North Africa, it's a lot of speculation, a lot of people say he wasn't black, he was Swedish, he was English, he was this, he was that, look, the way it's documented is that he was a Moor, meaning he was of African descent, meaning he was African American first black president. But a lot of people won't give him that, you know, just do because he wasn't a president under the Constitution. He was a president under the Articles of Confederation, which is not a legitimate government test anymore now that we follow the Constitution. But George Washington was not the first president of the United States technically. He was the eighth. You know what I'm saying? It was seven other people that was president before him. But see, John, this is how I know John Hanson was a black man. He only served one term, uh, no, one year. His term was only one year. And in that one year as president, he started the Mint, as we know it, the Federal Reserve, as we know it, or, I'm sorry, not the Federal Reserve, the Treasury System, correct me. Uh, the Postal Service, he brought the first American English Bible. All the contributions he made in one year. Sorry, yo, take it how you want it, but only, only a black man can have done like that in a year. He was the first black president. John Hanson, look into him. I appreciate Lons, you know what I'm saying? Give me that tidbit of information. I hope y'all can take it and use it. I wrote about it on blackocity.com. You can read about it, get all information about it. But that's not really what I want to uh, go in with y'all about. What I want to go in with y'all about is uh, reparations for black people in America. Listen to me very carefully. Because I'm not the first, I'm not the one that's jumping up and down talking about we need reparation. We need reparation in America for the for slavery and all the things that black people went through. Now I don't never disagree with the philosophy and the idea, but I'm not the one on the front line saying that we need it. But listen to this. There was a conversation that took place between uh, I'm a, I'm gonna leave him anonymous, but I'm, I was hearing about this between a white young lady and a black young lady about the subject of reparations. And the white young lady's argument was, why should my people, why should, they, we didn't have anything to do with slavery, my ancestors made it, didn't even have nothing to do with slavery because we immigrated to this country. And why should white people have to pay for reparations when we didn't have anything to do with it? And slavery was such a long time ago. Well, I'll give you this. I'm sure if you immigrated from another country, your ancestors didn't have anything to do with slavery, personally, per se. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the argument. The argument is not, oh, you know, why should we as white people have to pay for, you know, slave reparations for slavery? It's not right. It's not fair to us. But I'm going to give you the other side of that uh, equation, that conversation that y'all never think about. First of all, it would only be right to pay reparations for slavery when the Japanese got reparations for internment. It would only be right for blacks to get reparations for slavery when Jews got some type of reparation for what they went through during the Holocaust. It would only be right for blacks 
to give reparations for slavery when the American Indian got some just due and got reservations and what have you after their land was stripped from them. It would only be right. That's the first fold. The second fold on the form of the payment of it, this country in 2009 just spent over some odd billion dollars to bail out banks, automotive companies, and a whole bunch of other things that still ended up failing, a lot of them. Some of them revolved, but GM filed for bankruptcy a couple weeks ago. So it's not a matter of why should we have to pay personally. No, the government, they do got the money, and they can pay for it if they, that's what they wanted to do. And if that's what they choose to do, they could pay for it if they wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a matter of that white people have to come out of their own pockets and pay for it either. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, we all would end up paying for it in some way, some form or fashion. But it could be done. And there's a good, there's a lot of reasons and a lot of good reasons why it should be done. So my whole reason for, for exploring this is to tell y'all that when y'all, you know, you know, a lot of y'all being white, but probably never thinking on the other side of the conversation. When a lot of y'all look at reparations and think that it's just a bunch of black, lazy black people that just want to get money, you know, and another form of welfare, not necessarily. You know, look into it. You know what I'm saying? Really look into it. And all y'all that think that, you know, slavery was such a long time ago, there's still people in this country that are my age, my generation, that can trace their roots back to slavery. And it's not that many generations ago. Maybe three or four generations, which is really not that much when you think about it. And don't, don't, don't think of it in year terms. Think of it in generational terms. Like my great, great, great grandfather was a slave. When you think about it like that, it, it hits a little more closer to home. You understand what I'm saying? So be a little more thoughtful when you start thinking about situations like that. And don't. I, and I know a lot of a lot of us. You know, when we young, we raised to think a certain way. And when we get grown, that's usually the the way that we was raised shapes the way that we look at situations. But I'm challenging all people, not white people, not black people, but all people. You know what I'm saying? I'm challenging y'all to think outside of the box, man. Think more clear. They have more clarity and look at all sides of an argument before you base your opinions because that's what a lot of y'all been doing all your life you need to jump up out of that yo because that's not right now the moral of this story is am i saying that reparations is something that black people just need we need to get i think it's too little too late honestly i think giving reparations is like putting a band-aid on a bullet wound about right now you know what i'm saying like it's so it's, it's only but so much 10 20 30 thousand dollars will do to every black family it may help it'll probably help the economy right now more than it'll help black people to be fucking honest with you, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. The moral story is we don't really need the reparations. But when people bring up the subject of reparations, before you shut it down and sit on your high horse and look down and say, oh no, you know what I'm saying? That's not right. Think about the whole spectrum of the conversation. Think about what Japanese people got. Think about what the American Indian people got. Think about what Jews got. You know what I'm saying? Look into all of that. You know what I'm saying? Just, just be more open-minded and be have more clarity with what you're saying. But you already know, man. I love white people. I love y'all. I know I've been getting on y'all a lot for the past couple weeks. But I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I love black people. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, but I'm, I'm gonna sign off on this. All y'all black people, man. That's on that. You know, oh man, yo. Know, because being that Michael Jackson just passed. You know what I'm saying? Being that, yo, he hated. He really did hate himself, yo. I really do believe that that man hated the way he looked. He hated his nose, he hated his skin color, he hated his hair, you know what I'm saying? And being, try, chasing to be what he thought the society thought that was cool, turned him into a monster and eventually he done lost his life, you know what I'm saying? All chasing what he thought was supposed to look good. If you black, if you, if, if, if you black as hell, if you purple skin, if you so black you purple or blue, it don't matter, you know? that's the way God made you, that's the way you should be. You know what I'm saying? I, I done talked about this before, but I'm just reinforcing it. You know what I'm saying? All y'all sisters that, that's dark skin, that, that head dudes say shit like, I only like light skin girls. Fuck them niggas, man. Them niggas probably got their own insecurities to say some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't even feed into that, yo. Love yourselves, man. You see what happened to Mike. Lil' Kim doing the same shit right now. Look at her. Look at her 10 years ago and look at her now. She going through the same shit. I could go on and on, but I'm going to cut it off because we about to get into this lobster. And I know Black Tino's like, nigga... It's over right now. Get into the lobster. So, signing off, Killer Kai, Do It Die, Blog 18, Part 2, you already know. Coming up on the 20th anniversary of me doing this. Holla back.